Types of Contamination Now, let's learn about the different types of contamination present in the pharmaceutical cleanup environment. The clean room contaminants can be divided into four major categories. Physical contaminants, chemical contaminants, viable microbial contaminants, and non-viable contaminants. A physical contaminant is anything that can be visibly seen and is not part of the product or raw material originally. Examples of physical contaminants include airborne, non-viable particulate contaminants, and foreign materials, such as metals, glass particles, and fibers, etc. A chemical contaminant is any unwanted chemical that makes a drug unfit for use. Examples of chemical contaminants include API of different drug products, intermediate excipients, intermediate chemical reagents, and cleaning agents. A viable microbial contaminant is any infectious material that affects the quality of the drug. Examples of microbiological contaminants include bacteria, yeast, mold, fungi, virus, prions, protozoa, or their toxins and byproducts. Examples of where viable contamination can come from include people, surfaces, equipment, air, and water. Why are these examples considered sources of viable contamination? How is living contamination transferred from one surface to another? All of the examples listed can harbor viable or living organisms or microbes. They can blow through the air, live in water, or on surfaces and equipment. Organisms live on human skin and hair. Examples of where non-viable contamination can come from include paper, equipment, tubing, rust, dust, and disinfectants. Now let's talk about microorganisms, including bacteria, fungi, viruses, and protozoan parasites. Microorganisms are widely distributed and are most abundant where they have food, moisture, and the right temperature for their multiplication and growth. All living organisms need a supply of nutrients for energy and proper environment to thrive.